All right, so this is the Ohio Station outlets near Lodi, Ohio, and this is a train theme outlet mall. Unfortunately, I don't think the train is running right now, but anyway, there's a lot of crossings here, so I'm just gonna show a few of them. So here's this one that's under a roof. This was one of the stations, and these look cool. That gate nearly touches that pipe up there. And this is, look at the tracks. And you can see these are really rusty. It gets worse on another part. This used to be a station right here, or would be. And down there you see a lot more crossings. They all have the same stuff, besides a couple of them are gateless. Here's this side. And here's what the bell sounds like. So you can kind of hear it. Anyway, so this is this crossing here. And I'm going to show off a couple more. And here at this crossing is a broken gate light. It's kind of funny. Here's the two sets of crossings over here. You can see this one, the relay case, well, I guess you'd call them relay cases, but they say RMI Signal Division, Fresno, California. Same for the Gate Max. There's that side. And over here you got a switch. There's a couple of different like little branches because they have different aisles. And over there there's a gateless crossing. I'll go show that in a minute. Here's a switch. Down there, there's a quad crossing too. I wonder if that, no, I was gonna say, I wonder if that car was gonna drive through it. But yeah, here's the parking lot too. So yeah, moving over to the gateless crossing. Here's this gateless crossing on a little access road. The ones that are on roads are gateless and the pedestrian ones are gated. This one, this base is really realistic. It looks exactly like a clamp base. Honestly, that might be one of the most realistic pieces of railroad model railroad crossing equipment I've ever seen. This crossing is on a curve. These tracks are so rusty. I don't think that the train even runs at all now. The way it looks. This signal has two sets of lights. I think it's the only gateless one. Possibly even the only one here that has two pairs. Could be wrong. And there's a little station over there. See, so there's this crossing. Over here, there's an abandoned spur. Interesting. There's even a shed there. It's probably a secondary shed. It looked like there was a boxcar. Actually, it looks like a turntable. Really? But yeah, so this is just this little area. And this would probably be the only road crossing that has gates, and it's a quad, even though most of the gates don't actually cover the middle. But anyway, so this is a quad crossing. Kind of cool. Look at that tiny lock. Yeah, these have really realistic clamp style bases.
So here's a look at the quad crossing. And here's a three-way crossing here. This gate's sagging a little bit, probably because of the tree, but still. Look at this, this track's flooded over here. Not flooded, but it's a big puddle. So there's this crossing. This one looks kind of cool with the trees in the background. This bell is also the gong. I mean, not the gong, the rain shield is like sideways. That weird and this one over here the cross buck is missing on that signal I noticed so that's kind of weird I just have a feeling they don't run this at all and you can see there's another station way down there all right here we have this gateless crossing this one's really wide as you can see more of these really realistic clamp bases. Track views. That one down there has a real advanced warning sign at it. That's kind of cool. And that big thing that says station is the shed where the train should be at. You got this other signal over here. Small stop sign. Over here, this one's got a cool setup. So I guess there is another one with two pairs of lights on one signal. This one's got three, two facing this way, and then one facing the straight ahead. Look for trains. And these tracks look a lot better right here, but they're still rusty. And here's the other signal. So yeah. Here's yet another gateless crossing. This one, I don't know why there's like, you got the, what I would think is a relay case on the, as the base, and then you got another one up here, which seems odd. And then the other signal over there is the exact same besides the mini relay case. Actually, that's a gate mechanism. Now that I look at it, it's just facing the wrong way and has no gate. That's really weird. Why would they do that? <laughs> Maybe this previously had gates, because looking at this signal, this kind of looks like there used to be a gate mech on it. And then for whatever reason, they downgraded it. There's a random station and you would think that this indicates that the train doesn't run but I have a feeling that whenever this was running they would just have people walk in possibly that's what I would imagine and right there that's well, I guess that's also a station maybe I don't know but that's where they park the train at might try and go look at that over here you got this little baby switch stand. And yeah, I'll walk over here. They even got a little box car just sitting there. I'm not sure what that's for. But yeah, this is the 
shed. Not sure how much I'm gonna see over here, but I'm fairly certain that this is the main and that this is the little spur. I assume that they have two sets of trains and one of them's just, while the other one runs, one of them's parked on the spur. Yeah, these windows are covered up, but here you got, oh, that's kind of nice. There's uh, three box cars. This is so muddy over here. This is Interstate 71. Oh God. <laughs> but. These are clearly here for show. Look how these are tied up to the rails. That one's, these are tied up to the ground. Although this is on a spur that's connected to the rest. So that's kind of cool. So this is employees only, so this isn't a station, but I'm just gonna look inside. Oh, well there's the train. That's a passenger car. And huh, look at that. It's almost like a high rail vehicle, but they put it on one of those. And you can't really see much, unfortunately. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I can't really do much to make it so you can see in here. That's about the best I can get. And then over here you got the other side, you can see the switches. Furthest ones for those three box cars, and then you got the shed and then the main. So yeah, there's a look at the mall. There's where we were earlier with the three pairs of lights. I'm gonna check out one more crossing and probably end off this tour. Right now I'm completely on the other side of the mall from the sheds. And so there's the quad crossing and there's the one that's missing a cross buck. There's the really big gateless one. Now I'm over here. And over here you got another one of these little random stations and they have little they still have Christmas decorations in the windows, so that's funny, but again, nothing much going on. Alright, and one more final crossing to show off here. This is the main entrance, and this one is honestly, like, actually dangerous, if, at least if the train were running because it's a really big road and it's gateless and this side of the so if you're coming in and crossing you wouldn't even have a crossing signal facing you because there's no signal facing that direction and no lights so and I believe I saw a video of this one with a train going through and I don't even think the signal's activated it was a long time ago though as you can see, this is what it looks like when you enter the mall. More of these cool looking bases though, right there. I gotta give them that, like that is seriously just like the real MI ones, just smaller. And I love how they look like relay case signals. Over here. way over here you got the other signal which only faces this way for whatever reason look at that TDS LLC flasher number 89 wonder what that all means and there you have one final bell There you go. So yeah, 
basically all the other stuff I didn't show was just mostly the same stuff as what I did show, so. But, um, yeah, so these are some of the railroad crossings, now possibly out of service, at the Ohio St Lodi Station Outlets, which Ohio Station Outlets is what it's also called, but this is in Lodi, Ohio. So, thanks for watching, over and out.